Isaiah 41. Verse number 8 to 14. Nimeona saa zangu hata wako angalia waone dirangundi ya mekula zangu mbili. Alafu matangazo ya dini kakula ingine mbili. Sasa unajua, uh, but, uh, uh, lakini nimeokoka. Ninampenda yesu. Moyo wangu vile bitri zana niulizaga uko sawa. Moyo wangu uko sawa. Na mwili nao lazima uti katika jina la yesu. Amen. We are looking at uh, the book of Isaiah uh, 41, verse 8 to 14. The Bible says, But you, Israel, are my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham, my friend. Now, if you saw, there are two things there. Descendants, and these guys are my friend. Verse number 9. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions and said to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Hebuwe ka King James nione kama tutakuwa tumeingia ile mzuri mzuri. Wenda mstari wa kumi ni sawa tu. Kwa sababu yu ya sawa. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Verse number 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. I like that. Thou shalt seek them, and thou shalt not find them. Even them that contented with thee, they that war against thee, shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. Oh, I like King James. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help you I'll help thee. Oh, I like that. Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Father, speak to us, yes, in a language we can understand this morning, for this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm speaking to people that are afraid in the service today. You know, sometimes when you go to church, and the someone, the topic you have is agreeable to everybody. Then you feel you are in the right place. Here, people are afraid of many things. Oh my goodness. If a rat would pass around here, there are some of us that will scream. Others will kick it out. Sawa, sawa. If a kegunyo, kile kindakuwa na manyoya, shows itself up. There are some of us that will get some shivers. And some of us will be afraid. We are afraid of many things. Afraid of losing uh, you are freedom. You are afraid of the unknown. Afraid of pain. Afraid of disappointment. Afraid of misery. Afraid of loneliness. Afraid of ridicule. Afraid of rejection. Afraid of death. Afraid of failure. Those are some of the things that we are afraid of. Of course you can put them together because they also agree together. For example, death and unknown, rejection and ridicule could be the same thing. Pain and feeling misery could be one. Failure and loneliness. And we can go on and go on and go on. People are afraid. Afraid of snakes. Some are afraid of public speaking. May God deliver you. We'll bring you here one day to speak. Ata we unasemaga mwoga mwoga. Ata kama utasema my name is Bishop Kimani. That's okay. You will say it only once. Then from there God is going to deliver you. Amen. Afraid. Some of us are afraid of heights. When you go to the fourth floor you don't want to face down. Now some of us go up to the 20th and we look down. Others go to Khalifa. Khalifa. In uh, Dubai. And we want to look down. Nikio wa meweka. We want to angalia chini, tuone uko chini, kuko na nini, kwani kuna nini. But there are some that uh, shiver. 
uh, come upon us. We, 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 we are afraid uh, of small spaces. Some of us are afraid of spiders. Some of us are afraid of needles and getting shots when you go to the doctor. We are afraid of that also. As I said earlier, some of us are afraid of mice or panya. Some of us are afraid of flying. Some of us are afraid of dogs. Some of us are afraid of vandals that appear in lightning. Some of us are afraid of even going to see a doctor. Some of us are afraid of dark. We are afraid of many things. But the Bible this morning is trying to tell us there is one who is telling us, fear not. Tell your neighbor, fear not. I don't know what you are afraid of, but the Bible is trying to tell us to fear not. Fear not. And that is what I want to, to share with us. From our text for the year, which is Isaiah 41 verse 15, and I think Bishop normally starts from verse number 14, but I thought of starting from verse number 8 and end in verse 14, but what I'm talking about is fear not. Fear not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you are in fear for circumstances, someone just telling you to fear not, probably it will not help. You, you are in a situation, for example, when you have lost a loved one and somebody is telling you, cheer up. Sometimes you wonder, does this guy really understand that where I am and cheer up is like coming from America and Russia? Those two things are not mixable at any particular time. So sometimes it's very difficult. Even hearing a well-meaning, fear not someone like this morning, may fall short if it is just a preacher's comfort to you. If it is just a comfort from Bishop Kimani or best wishes being extended to you. But when you hear God saying fear not, then you know it is not just a soothing message. This is God himself saying, because I've been afraid and scared, he wants to come in and he wants to tell me, Jimmy, fear not. As I was thinking about this sermon, I, I remembered my mom. My mom Oh, bless the name of the Lord, Elizabeth, live forever, see many years. When my father passed on in 1975, um, I was observing it. My mother uh, has never been alone until I brought her to stay with us. Being alone, I mean on the bed alone, sleeping alone. She has never slept alone. So there are always more guys who come along. Some of them now, like Emily has grown up, but I know there are others. You know, Emily, I can spot you there. So, so my mother has always, she wants to sleep with them. So she lands in my house, and I was thinking about it the other day. Then uh, the, the Emilies, the Emilies that stay with me and others, uh, she says she wants them to come and sleep with her. Then they pretend that they are in her room. Not in the same bed now, in another bed. But they pretend they are there. Because in her room there are two beds. Because she cannot sleep alone. Now, but you think she's asleep. Then you hear her climbing the stairs. And it is so dangerous for her. Unasikia kamukwe ju kanaria. Kongo. 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 Then you know... She is going where? She is going to look for someone to go down and sleep with her in her room. Why? She can't sleep alone. Since her husband left, who used to sleep with her, now she wants someone. It, there is some comfort in having someone next to her. In the verse, verses that we read, Isaiah 41, verse 8 to 14, the Bible says this, But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you are descendants of Abraham, my friend. I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and I have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. 
Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. And help you. I will uphold you. With my righteous right hand. All who rage against you. Will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you. Will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies. You will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing of all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Verse number 14. Do not be afraid, you warm Jacob. Little Israel, do not fear. For I myself will help you, declares the Lord, the, your Redeemer the Holy One of Israel. The principle of God saying, fear not. The principles of God saying, fear not. Or don't be afraid to his people are timeless. In the King James Version of the Bible, the phrase, fear not, occurs 71 times. Meaning God is in serious business to keep on repeating to us, fear not. Fear not. Afraid of what? Will my marriage stick the test of time? Will my children grow and become adults? Will I have this? Will I have that? Will this government stand the test of time? Uh, is our economy going to change? We fear so many things. But the Bible is telling us, fear not. Fear not. And also in the book of Genesis, chapter number 15 and verse number 1. If we would go to that verse number one. Genesis 15 and verse number one. And. Usijali. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Saying, do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. You are exceeding great reward. So from Genesis 15 all the way to Revelation there are those 71 uh, words that the Lord speaks to us. Fear not. Now the question is, God knows we'll be afraid. So God knows. So, so don't pretend that you are okay when you are afraid. He knows you would. But he's telling us, even when those situations show up, he's telling me, I should not fear. Why? Because he, God, wants to help me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He, God, wants to help me. And of course, the question that you and I will always ask is, God, how can I know for sure that, God, you want to help me? And we will look at those verses. We are going to look at those verses that I have read from verse number 8 to 14 and see where, what is God trying to tell us? Because he, he knows Jimmy is afraid. And when I'm afraid, what, I, what do I say? I say, God will help me. You know, sometimes I look at my marriage and wonder, will we get at 50 and celebrate 50th anniversary? Then that fear showing up, I said, but God is going to help me. I will not be afraid of that tomorrow that I don't see. Because there are some clouds that you see and you wonder, would this cloud rain? But the one that I have is that the Lord is telling me, fear not, because I am going to help you. In, in, in the book of 2 Timothy, verse num, chapter 1, verse number 7, the Bible says, and God is exhorting us to, not to fear. He says this, God has not given us a spirit of fear. He has not, God does not give us fear, but he has given us power, and of love and sound mind. So fear not. Fear not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why should I not fear? Verse number 8 says, You whom I have chosen. You whom I have called you. God is the one who has chosen you. God is the one who has called you. So why are you afraid and those guys have not chosen you? Those guys have not called you? All what they do is to contend against you, is to wage war against you. But there is one who has called you. There is one who has chosen you. Fear not. Why? Because God has chosen me. 
I'm a choice of God. You know, people can say many things about you. They might say you will not get to 70. You might not get to 80. But who are they? You see, as long as God's word is true, you are mortal. You cannot die until he releases the curtain for you. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So God has called you. God has chosen you. First Peter 2 and verse 9, the Bible says, But you are a chosen people, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. Once you are not a people, but now you are the people of God. Fear not, because God has chosen you. He has called you to be his own. You are a people belonging to God. Shoulders are high, you are head up, saying, I belong to Jesus. Therefore, I shall not fear. I shall not fear what the devil can do, whether it is by night or by day. Not even the arrows that is, he throws towards me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, just think of, of all that you and I, and especially uh, parents, dads and moms, just think of how you prevent your family from living in fear. God will do more. The Jews were called the chosen people under the old covenant. And then all the followers of Jesus are called chosen under the new covenant. You are very special to God. So fear not. Is the economy going to change? Fear not. Am I, am I going to get a job when I finish university? Fear not. Will I ever get married? Fear not. Will my children go to the university? Fear not. Will I go to America? Fear not. Fear not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I, that one excites me. Um, mimi ni chaguo la mungu. Mwambie jirani yako mimi ni chaguo la mungu. Na by the way, uniangaliage vizuri. Kwa sawa mimi ni chaguo ya mungu. Mwambie, uache maringo yako. Mimi ni chaguo ya mungu. You know? There are some of us who despise us. Yeah. But I am the choice of God. I am called of God. And God has wonderful plans for me. Therefore, fear not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Fear not. Secondly, in verse number nine, what does it that mean? Why am I not going to fear? Because God has not rejected you. You see, also, although Israel went to captivity, God is trying to tell them that although you went to captivity, you went because of your sin. But I have not rejected you. You know, wa Christo, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shida yetu kubwa ni hii, mulevi anaweza ingia hapa. Amejikojolea. Amejitokea kamasi. Ana uchafu. Akuje, aokoke. Kida mtu hapa, tukimbie tumbadilishe nguo. Tumweke kaguo kazuri, tumpige manukato, awe dugu wa kiroho, tuwe tukiabia watu, kuna mwenye dhambi alikuja chachi yetu wakaokoka. Tunasherekea. Wacha ndugu wa kiroho hapa. Ambaye, anampenda yesu, atereze, aanguke. Hey, jamenini, aise. Kila mtu kijijimzima atajua, unajua nani? And no wonder when someone falls into sin, they disappear from among the believers. Because instead of bringing them back, actually we chase them away. But listen to what God is saying. Although you are in captivity because of your idolatry, I have chosen you. Because the choice of God has nothing to do with my circumstance at a particular time. He loves me in spite, despite of. But you know, that does not mean I will live in sin. It simply means God is giving me a second chance by telling them, telling me, fear not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I don't know where you are this morning. But how far you have gone, the Bible is trying to tell us and the word is encouraging us that we should not fear. The Jews were finally brought back. 
Because God told them, I have not rejected you. And indeed, God had not rejected them. It is them that had fallen into sin. We bless the name of the Lord. So, fear not. Where are you? Oh, Bishop, right now I feel like I don't want to come to church because I feel so low. Fear not. You are not rejected. Men might reject you, but God still thinks good about you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why should I not be afraid? Why should I not fear? Verse number, uh, verse number 10. Do not fear. For what? I am with you. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. I know how secure I felt as a child when my daddy would walk with me. And you know, although, although I hear that these were those daddies, Warikua Wakali Sana, my daddy was good. He was loving. Siku msikia ni kajificha, ni kimsikia na kimbiria kwake. Kwa sababu, tuvitu tuwili. Alikuwa mezo ya kuja na burungo. Hiyo burungo ilikuwa kanyama kamechemushwa. Kwa hivyo, kumuona ni kumukimbiri. Kwa sababu kanyama kamechemushwa ni heza pewa kapa. Kapande. Na alikuwa... Alikuwa, alikuwa, eh, hey, alikuwa, alikuwa. Hako wa mtu waku, tisha tishu alikuwa. Kwa hivyo ukikimbia, unajua ukiruka, bas, you are safe. Yani ni kukimbia, unaruka tu. Na ya nakudaka tu, nakutupa juu. Na ukiwa juu, unacheka sana kwa sababu unajua, yote ni sawa. Niende juu, niruke. Daddy, throw me, throw me. Nitupe tena, nitupe tena. Zama apana atulia. Kwa sababu, saile unatupwa juu, mama naya anafikiria. Just in case. So, my daddy was strong, but how much more would be the love of God when he tells me, fear not, I am with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Do not fear, I am with you. When fears may try to come upon you, remember those words. Let them echo around that your heavenly Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, they are with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You have lost a job. Seems like everybody is looking down on you. Fear not. Why? Because he is with you. God is with us. Hallelujah. I love that. God is with me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why should I not fear? Verse 10. Do not fear. I am your God. You know, it is still building up. See his presence. Ananiambia, mimi ni mungu. Do you know? Sometimes. Sometimes. It's always good to be bold. One missionary had some property. And some politicians needed that property. And they threatened this missionary, a man of God. They even threatened that they are going to deport him, put him into jail. But this man says, no, you can't. You can't put me in jail. You cannot deport me. Until God decides otherwise. You? No way. You have no power, no grace. Why? I'm not going to be afraid because he is my God. And sure enough, it went to court and finally the land was his. I will not fear why. I am your God. Amazingly, almighty God, the creator of the universe, he is my God. All his power, all his love, all his blessing are there for me and for you. And therefore then, I need to come to Jesus. I need to go to where he is. I need to run to where Jesus is. Why? Because he's mine. Mwambie jirani yako ni mungu wangu. Mwambie tena. Huyu ni mungu wangu. You know, we used to fight as boys. 
Lakini tunapigania magari ya wenyewe. Kule kwetu karate tukiwa pale juu tumekaa na other boys. Tutasema ya white yote ni yangu. You know when you say that it means all oh, vehicles in Kenya are yours. Because white is more isn't it? Hizo za red kana kaa kabla akaja katokea. Kwa hivyo tunasema hapana wewe ni umenishira za pana. Ikitokea pale tukiona pale national the service tukiona na mata hiyo itakuwa yangu na yako hiyo tukiona girigiri tukua pale kwetu ulikuona gari zikitokea girigiri pale to station unaziona so unasema hiyo ni yangu hiyo ni yangu hapana hiyo eh mnapigania vitu ambavyo si vyenu yani but i pray that we can fight for this god and we declare this is my god and my god my god my god do not fear I am your God. So when fear comes, I need myself to tell myself, it doesn't matter where I am. He is my God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why should I not be afraid? Verse number 10 still says this. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Perhaps you are crying in fear or you are crying in dismay. Lord, I'm going under. God, I cannot make it. He replies to you, yes, but I can. Yes, I will help you. So it doesn't matter where you find yourself. It's like Peter sinking. When Peter was sinking, he discovered, how? Oh, why am I sinking? Why, why, why should I sink? He, he just remembered. The guy who told me to walk is still around. So, help me. And the help was there. I, you know, the guy that called you at first, he's still there. Why should I sink when he can help me? He says he will strengthen me. He's going to help me. So I'll cry out, Lord, help me. And help is on the way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So why should I be not be afraid? Why should I not be scared when these things are, are happening? He says he's going to rescue me. Verse number 13. We, we are just about to wrap it up. Verse number, why am I not going to be afraid? Remember he's the one who's saying I'm going to thrash this mountain. And he tells me he's going to help me. But he's dealing with, first of all, with my fear. Because I have a lot of fear. This mountain is so huge. How am I going to conquer this mountain? And the mountain could be some of those worries and fears that you carry along. Verse number 13. I am the Lord, your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Come on, come away and your mimi. Ningianza kuwa ni kinoki zaai. Yani all those things that God is telling me and I'm still afraid of something. I should be changing my countenance. Knowing that God is declaring that he's also going to hold me. Hold my right hand. And he, he's telling me do not fear. Think of the, any dangerous situation and you find yourself in. Think of God standing there. Holding your hand saying... It's okay. I have got you. Most likely, your fears will disappear. Mothers used to walk with their children in the evening. During the day, no problem. But in the evening, in particular, they go kwanina warrior. You know? They will go with someone. And as long as there is that Kasmo or somebody, this lady has a lot of courage. And this is a little poise. <laughs> and as long as she's holding you, she feels she's comfortable. Oh my God, have mercy. But now imagine God is saying, I will hold you. That God is holding me. Is there any mountain that I cannot crash? Is there any situation that I cannot overcome? 
Some of the mountains, all what I need is to go around it seven times. You've gone to the embassy, they have not given you a visa for only two times. Go seven times. Go round it. I mean, go round it. You know the embassy we are talking about. But even Australia is also difficult to go there. But however, whatever embassy it is, don't agree one day. Umenyimwa, ukafikiria ni mulango mungu wa mefunga. God has not closed the door yet. Even at that time, say, I will not fear, and I will come again. One time we went to get a visa for the U.S., me and Alice, and we took a nyimwa. Na alie tunyima alismayo. And I said, no, you can't. I asked why, he said, you went to America 1988. Your purpose of going to America 1998 was to spy the land. You liked it. Now you are preparing to go and not come back. I said, me? No, I'm not thinking about it. He said, you. Then I said, I have children. He said, an African with the children? Children belong to the village. So, no. In the next counter, there was a bishop friend of mine. When they refused him also, he shouted at them. He said, America is not a heaven and I will go one day. <laughs> at first I thought, oh, Bishop, see, to humble ourselves. <laughs> but you know, the same year, towards the end of the year, he went. How did he do it? He changed his names. Those were days you could change. Now you can't. This digit, digital era is difficult. Ile ingine ilikuwa ya archives. Iyo ilikuwa kitu ingine. Iyo ma 90s. Iyo ungea chaza na yo. Saa hii. Wanapiga tu. Tip. What were you doing, Jimmy, in Memphis? 2023. If you lie, they have your data. How you left the airport and the house you went. That's how those guys are. Anyway, the, the story is Tulinimwa. <laughs> I love how America, Wakafika Mari Wakasema, if you have ever gone to America, you yourself, and your spouse has never gone, bring her. So I took Alice. And the only question they ask, is she your wife? I said, yes. She got it. She has never missed to get it. So, and that should also be your portion. Let God hold you. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. He will uphold us with his right hand. Wow, 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 wow. I am the Lord your God who takes hold of you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Look at that. Let me do the last one. Why will I not be afraid? Why? Why should I not be afraid when everybody is afraid and scaring and running up away, being so scared, being afraid? Verse number 14. Do not be afraid, you warm Jacob, little Israel. For I myself will help you, declares the Lord. Now this is when you feel so little. You feel like you cannot do anything. You feel like you are a warm surrounded by enemy who oppose and rage against you. Verse 11 and 12, no matter how little you feel yourself to be, it seems that God wants to tell you he will deal with those that rage against you, those that are fight against you. He wants you to know that he cares for you personally. He says, I, myself, I, myself, will help you. My prayer for you, being afraid, yes, I am. God is saying he wants to help you. 
si basi tumwambie usitumane usitume malaika usitume bishop kuja mwenyewe blessed be the name of the lord kwa sababu anaweza tuma bishop bishop aende kisumo kesho akienda kesho na baraka zako zinaweza kaa wiki mzima so we say god usitume bishop usitume mikaeli usitume gabrieli ukuje mwenyewe and he says i your god wants to help you my prayer is that i'll throw my hands up to him and say lord here i am here i am here i am deliver me save me and walk with me i don't know what your situation is but the bible is telling me fear not are you looking for a job and you feel so dismayed and discouraged fear not are you looking at the future and the future looks like it is not bright fear not hmm? are you looking at your age you know some of us look at our age we say eh, will i ever fear not even sarah ibrahim who was there fear not there are some things that you ought not to fear release it to god will i ever live in my own house fear not fear not. will i ever own a business in zimmerman fear not blessed be the name of the lord will ever my children prosper fear not because god is saying he's going to hold me and he says i want to help you so it doesn't matter how i feel i'm going to say god if you're going to help me then from today every time i feel some kafia i will say i will not fear why because god will uphold me because god will help me because god is ready and willing to walk with me through this path in the mighty name of jesus i don't know what you are fearing today but i told you i'm so safe today because i'm speaking to people that have a fear of something unajua ukihubiria watu ambao mko ligi moja you are you feel safe we we fear greet your neighbor please for me feel them feel them ask them what are you afraid of you know what are you afraid of what we are going to do today what we are going to do today we will open this altar because i believe here in this altar there are people that are, will hear god speak those words to them so we will open this altar for you hallelujah in actual fact i feel tempted amen i feel tempted because the anointing breaks the yoke i'll put anointing oil in my hands i want you to come and greet me if you are afraid let god deliver you from whatever of afraidness you will find yourself in in the mighty name of jesus let's have church let's have church let's not have religion let's have church once i greet you go where you're going lift up your hands and let god deal with your fear in the mighty name of jesus i don't know what you are afraid of what are you 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 afraid of may that fear release you may fear be released yes no fear the lord is giving you a spirit of boldness and of power and not of fear but of sound mind in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus